23 arrests, 27 injured policemen, and 76 criminal complaints have now been filed against these so-called protesters. Guys, crazy what's going on here. The German Minister for Economics and Finance and several ministers in Germany's government are saying that the protesters in Germany are potentially going to destroy Germany's economy. Now, that might sound insane, right? It might sound exaggeratory, like I'm being, um, you know, over the top, hyperbolic. It's not. Germany's automotive industry is responsible for around 50% of the German economy when you think of all the indirect jobs. Now, for every one direct job in the automotive industry, they say that 10 jobs um, supply that, uh, are subsidiary to that one job. So one job is really more like 11 jobs, right? You know, you might have one job for someone working at BMW, and then you've got 10 jobs for suppliers and all the extra businesses that are needed to support the automotive industry. Essentially, German ministers believe that the future of their, their automotive industry in Germany is being irrevocably damaged by protesters, and they're getting very concerned about what this is going to do. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. 25% of all vehicles exported from Germany this year, 25% of them were fully electric. Now, when you consider the fact that, you know, um, Audi, BMW, Mercedes, the Volkswagen Group, those other brands in Germany, um, Porsche, that primarily, I mean, 90%, more than 90% of the cars that they are selling are internal combustion. 25% is a huge, it's a huge number. And it's so important for Germany's economy. I've mentioned this before. I really actually believe, I agree with these German ministers that Germany's economy is going to be in for huge, huge problems. German officials have expressed their um, extreme frustration, disappointment, and fear as activists, um, the days of action against Tesla Giga Berlin have started to harm Germany's future economic prospects in the eyes of federal government. This was true for Federal Economics Minister Robert Habeck and the East Brandenburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry, both of whom said that um, they're very concerned. In a comment to Funk Media, Minister Habeck said that once protesters attempted to break into Tesla Giga Berlin, uh, this, is, this wasn't reasonable, it became illegal, uh, this became a situation where they should have been arrested. The police, a lot of them weren't arrested. 21 police officers were injured, a lot of them went to hospital. And the truth is these protesters got away. It was like a, it was 800 versus I believe 30 police officers and all the 800, they, they clearly won because only one person was arrested and more than 21, I believe say now 22 police officers were injured, one person arrested. So essentially this was like a stampede and the police just didn't have any chance. Minister Beck criticized how the activists have been targeting Tesla due to the company's production of electric cars. He says, no one can have an interest in Germany without automobile production. Quite a strong statement. No one can have an interest in Germany without automobile production. We are campaigning for the cars of the future to be produced here in Germany and for jobs and added value, key point, added value, to be kept here in Germany. And Tesla also builds cars like that, Minister Beck said. Now, what he is really saying here, guys, is this. Uh, German car companies, what are they doing? What's all the money they've invested this year? Where's it gone? It's gone to China. I mean, the Volkswagen Group have invested more than 10 billion this year in China. But if you include last year, it's, I don't know how many billions it is, but it's a lot, a lot more than that if you include last year. I mean, Germany, Mercedes-Benz, massive amounts of funds, Audi as well, huge amounts of funds from these German companies are going to China. Uh, Volkswagen fired thousands of staff in Germany and immediately hired thousands of them in China. Uh, so basically Germany is seeing this happen and they're going, holy hell, Tesla is actually willing to invest here. This is insane. And now, will, will companies of the future, will they go, wow, look what's happened to Tesla. Are we going to go and invest there in Germany? Hell no. The East Brandenburg Chamber of Commerce and Industry said this. Monique Zweig, the manager of IHK Austin Brandenburg, said that the anti-Tesla activist actions will have adverse effects on the German economy. We just had one company settle here in the region, which was a ray of hope for all young people who wanted to stay here in the region, providing them with jobs. This will be permanently damaged by these actions, she said. Permanently. 
IHK department head Robert Zadminowski says Tesla Rady have reported that IHK department head Robert Rad Zimanowski noted that in general, several companies in East Brandenburg have now become pessimistic about the future with their current economic report indicating 80% of companies are very concerned. A low willingness to invest in the area has been observed since these protests have happened against Tesla. It's been going for a couple of years now. In other words, the only company that's investing in this entire state is Tesla, and they're, the only, and they're just being attacked. The days of action against Tesla, Giga Berlin, Brandenburg have deterred investors, said German officials. Rad Zimanowski criticized the way the dispute surrounding Giga Berlin, Brandenburg was going. The local polit politicians in Grunheide and the region have their names and faces in the public eye. And opposite them is a group of masked people in the end to, who are threatening to come back if from their point of view, the right decision is not made. We find that very strange. In other words, people who are masked, we don't know who they are. They're threatening that they will cause people harm if Tesla's um, expansion plan is not canceled. In, in other words, basically they're, they're actually trying to get Tesla shut down permanently in the area. And they're threatening officials, local people, they're coming back um, with their force of 800 people to storm Tesla or do whatever needs to be done if Tesla isn't essentially shut down. These guys, no one knows their names. No one knows who they are. And the truth is no one knows if they have weapons or what they're capable of. We know they're capable of burning Teslas. 12 Tesla vehicles have been burned. Many more were damaged in this recent um, attack on actual Tesla staff vehicles, which were damaged in car parks by these losers. Germany has to do something. The, the government has become too soft. They need to crack down. Now, guys, I know in the, in North America, in the United States, there's been a lot of um, claims of pre police brutality, and I'm sure that many of those are true. But in Germany, the opposite is the case. The, the police here are being assaulted. Nothing is being done. And the economy of Germany will unquestionably be harmed. And it's not just, I've been saying this for years now. Now it's not just me anymore. It's actual ministers in Germany. Thanks for watching.